हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन लैब इन द लास्ट लैब वी हैव सीन द एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ सैम्पलिंग एंड रिकॉन्स्ट्रक्शन एंड इन दिस लैब वी विल सी द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू विच इज पी सी एम इनकोडर एंड डिकोडर सो बेसिकली द पी सी एम इनकोडर इज द टेक्निक टू कन्वर्ट एन एनालॉग सिग्नल इन टू डिजिटल दैट इज बाइनरी बीट्स जीरो एंड वन so in pcm there is a blocks of uh, quant uh, sampling quantization and uh, encoder but in this kit here you can see the uh, pcm encoder is just single block and all the, th uh, the um, their three blocks are merged into a single and it is called pcm encoder so as uh, i have said the pcm is a technique to convert the analog signal from an uh, analog to digital um, or binary bit so we have to, uh, we will take uh, the analog signal which is 2 kilohertz sine signal from uh, the master signal and uh, uh, as i have said the sampling uh, is required in the pcm sampling block is also included in that so a sampling signal is also required for that i have taken the 8 kilohertz signal digital signal from and uh, this master signal block so let's come to the here as you can see this is the clock which i have taken uh, 8 kilohertz digital signal the second one is uh, the pcm data which is here not um, basically uh, it is all the, maybe it is zero and one series of zero and one but it is showing all a block a series of block but it is uh, showing wrong the third one is uh, frequency synchroniz synchronization it is uh, uh, here you can see 7654321 it is basically 8 bit synchronizer so here we are taking 8 bit pcm uh, encoder so we are uh, 8 bit means we are converting as every uh, sample of analog signal into 8 bit uh, 8 bit uh, encoder 8 8 bit so this experiment is basically divided into two parts the first one is pcm encoding the second one is pcm decoding so we will do the first experiment which is pcm encoding then we will go on the second which is pcm decoding so let's come to the block diagram of this uh, experiment here this uh, block is showing pcm encoder here there is two inputs one is 8 kilohertz uh, signal which is uh, given to the clock the second one is a, uh, analog signal which is given to the input of this encoder we can uh, see this encoder this is pcm encoder here there is two inputs we can give uh, two inputs but we are using only one at this time because we need only one input so the input is 2 kilohertz uh, sine wave i already said that and there is a clock clock input which i have given 8 kilohertz digital signal so here you can see this is a frequency synchronization which is a, a signal which can be seen i have uh, already uh, shown you there is pcm data which is encoded and the third one is pcm clock or we can we will show the input and output which is i have taken input the sine signal i will show in cro the input signal and the pcm encoded data at uh, at any uh, instant or any time we can show only two uh, two things at the cro that's why we will only use the input and output so here and the 8 kilohertz sampling is uh, used because the input signal is 2 kilohertz so according to the nyquist criteria the sampling signal frequency should be greater than equals to two, uh, twice of the maximum frequency of input signal so if we take uh, less than 4 kilohertz then there will be obviously there will be aliasing so we have taken the 8 kilohertz digital signal for the sampling and the quantization and encoder uh, cir circ uh, circuit it is inbuilt in the pcm encoder in this kit and uh, here individual blocks are not shown so we we'll, we will using this so i have uh, shown on the cro the first uh, signal is i can uh, we can show you the first signal is input signal which i have given 2 kilohertz sine wave signal and uh, the second one is uh, 
the one zero uh, output of PCM data, which is like one 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 zero zero uh, zero one, then zero 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 zero. So this is the out uh, input signal of uh, PCM encoder, and this is the output signal of PCM encoder, which is binary bits. We can also see the frames frame synchronization signal, which is uh, this. I can uh, show you an CR. So now I have connected the frame synchronization signal from uh, this PCM encoder, this frame synchronization signal to channel two, and uh, you can see this is the input signal which is sine of wave of two kilohertz, and this is frame synchronization signal which is uh, I have shown you earlier. This one is frame synchronization signal. So it is uh, frame synchronization is repeating at every time. The use of frame synchronization signal is it provides the information of uh, PCM encoder at uh, the parameter at which the PCM encoder like delta uh, delta, which is step size in uh, quanti quantization block, to the PCM decoder. So when uh, we will use the PCM and, uh, decoding second part of this experiment, which is PCM decoder, there we can uh, see the frame synchronization is very uh, important signal which is given by the PCM encoder. So the first experiment I have shown already. Now we will go for the second experiment, which is PCM uh, decoder. So here in PCM decoder, I will show you the PCM encoder signal and uh, uh, what is the output of PCM encoder signal after decoding. So for the second uh, second part of the experiment, this is the channel. This is the PCM encoding block and this is the PCM decoding block. In PCM encoding, I have shown you all the things. In PCM decoding, I have shown you in the trainer kit. This is the PCM decoder block. And for the decoding of uh, the PCM encoded signal, there is an input signal which is already going to, uh, going to uh, the PCM encoder. I have taken it uh, sine 2 kilohertz signal. The second one is uh, I have uh, taken 8 kilohertz signal. But it is under you can take hundred because uh, we can take more than four kilohertz signal more than four kilohertz frequency signal. So the uh, output of this PCM data goes to the PCM decoding PCM data. I will show you the uh, frame synchronization uh, output goes to the frame synchronization of, of PCM decoder, and the clock. Is a clock uh, are going to encoder as well as the decoder. So I will show you here. So this is the frame synchronization signal, which is uh, going to frame synchronization of PCM decoder circuit. This is the PCM decoder circuit, and uh, this is the PCM data which I got from the PCM encoder circuit, and this is the clock signal, and this is uh, output taken from the uh, PCM decoder. And I will show you the output uh, which is directly taken from the PCM decoder. And this uh, looks like this. So this is the 2 kilohertz uh, sine wave which I have given as an input of the signal to the encoder. This is the output which is very uh, very very distorted as uh, compared to the input. Because I have taken the output directly from the uh, PCM decoder which is not correct because it's uh, there is a uh, error in the quantization process where so we have to pass this uh, output signal to the this uh, tunable low pass filter so I am connecting this uh, output so I am connecting this output to the input of this uh, tunable low pass filter and I am connecting to the output of the in this tunable low pass filter to and this I'll show you on video only. One minute. Yes, I have connected the output up for this one and then press auto set. So you can see this is the input which I have given to the encoder and this is the output which I have got from the uh, PCM decoder. There may be any phase difference between the input and output because when we are giving the uh, signal from input to the PCM encoder and the, that signal is going to the encoder to the decoder, there is a time delay. 
and due to that time delay there may be phase difference between input and output so you can see that uh, the output of the pcm decoder signal is exactly same as the input which is given by the uh, by us to the pcm encoder so in this experiment that was the um, basic uh, experiment which is i have explained you so what you can do you can learn about the uh, pcm encoder and decoder and individual circuit which is involved in, in encoder as well as the decoder in encoder there is the sampling circuit quantization quantization and encoder in which uh, you can uh, learn from uh, the book and you can see what is uh, the output it should be like this or not so the connection are very complex but i you can understand very easily that i have given the 2 kilohertz signal from this input to that uh, input of uh, the encoder then clock frequency i have given then P this is pcm encoder frame synchronization signal and uh, at the decoder side this is frame synchronization signal then uh, pcm data which is obtained from the encoder then clock then output taken from this pcm decoder to the low pass filter and the output of the low pass filter has given to the cro in, uh, in this low pass filter you have to uh, control this frequency this frequency should be greater than uh, 2 kilohertz this is cut off frequency of the low pass filter so if uh, there uh, the cut off frequency is less than 2 kilohertz because you have given the input signal 2 kilohertz so if the cutoff frequency is less than 2 kilohertz then you can uh, you will see the distortion in the signal as uh, and the output will not be clear so i am going to reduce this frequency from that uh, this uh, and you can see the results this is signal is fluctuating very much as compared to earlier and as well uh, we are increasing the cutoff frequency from less to uh, more than yeah this uh, I will show you simultaneously so you can see when we are uh, decreasing the frequency of this cutoff of low pass filter then this is going to distort and when we in more distorting the signal it is going to be flat and the output is not coming but when you will increase the frequency of cutoff signal you can see it is distorted but when you increase from 2 kilohertz more than 2 kilohertz then yeah it's going to give you the exact replica of the input so from this lab you have learned a lot i think this is enough thank you